Hey everyone, this is Hugo, aka Unfresh Simple 2.0, and welcome to another episode of Science Time. So today I'm going to be talking about more osmosis. Okay, so if you remember from my 15th episode, I took an egg, and with the help of water, I was able to go make it bigger. And with the help of cornstarch, I was able to make, make an, the other egg smaller. I had two eggs. But, but an egg dissolved in vinegar is not the only thing that water, like that water or other molecules can pass through. Over here is, this is for, for water and iodine. This, okay, so over here is a mixture of cornstarch and water. And in this, in this little here, this is called a dialysis tube. So what I'm going to do, okay, so I already tie, tie it up from here. It probably keeps it tighter. I'm going to be using this funnel to go put in the cornstarch solution. Okay. Just insert it in here. Okay, so here you have it. The weird the weirdly wrapped uh, the weirdly wrapped cornstarch water. Now, I'm gonna go place it in the ah design. First I'm I'll spray some extra water. Okay. Now Okay. Now all we just gotta do is wait. Hey everyone, welcome back to Science Time. Okay, so over here we have our guitar syrup. Now it's purple. Like the water turned purple. You see that there's some cornstarch right? because it's separated. But but the question is, how did it happen? Well well it all has to do with osmosis and another another scientific thing called diffusion. So, okay, so osmosis is when, as I said, water travels through a soft, like through something like thin and soft, such as a dialysis tube, moving, or an egg, or like a thin egg when it's been put in vinegar. Okay, so there's little passageways in like, like this barrier. The water, can, the water can enter through, the water can enter through inside the tube or, or come out the tube. It must do either in order to go equal its concentration. Diffusion is when molecules do the same thing, sometimes caused by temperature. Anyway, so in the solution, as I said, was water and iodine. So it's basically water and iodine moving in, <laughs> moving into this tube, but also out it. And because the iodine you can go detect whether something is acidic or basic, it can change the color. So that's why it turned purple. Because cornstarch, because it's cold, is acidic. Well, I'm Hugo, aka Unforeseeable 2.0, and thanks for watching Science Time. Don't forget to go check out some of my other Science Time videos, those as long as the ones from seasons 1 and 2. See ya!